EMP testing, probably about as exciting as it gets. An unusual test of a cruise missile system on White Sands Missile Range last December is expected to extend the missile's lifespan another 15 years. The air-launched cruise missile, a missile carried by the B-52 bomber for the delivery of nuclear payloads, underwent testing on White Sands to ensure it meets the requirements for resistance to electromagnetic pulse and other modern threats. Hanging under the EMP generator operated by the Survivability, Vulnerability, and Assessment Directorate, the missile was bombarded with EMPs. That's just to ensure for, for the missile, in order for it to think it's flying, when actually if it were to experience a hemp environment or a, a, a high altitude EMP, if there's a ground bounce in there, it changes the delivery of that EMP. So when you get off the ground just a little bit, it kind of it makes it operationally relevant and also what it would see in the theater. The test is part of a regular Air Force requirement to ensure the system can survive in the event it should ever be deployed. So when we're talking about a nuclear blast, if the missile's within that blast, it's, it's not going to make it. But outside of that, this electromagnetic pulse is created and it disrupts all, all the electronic circuits and everything. So if it were to get hit by an EMP, there's a good chance that it would just be a flying lawn dart if it's not hardened correctly. The test, which took two years to plan, saw the joint effort of White Sands Missile Range, the Air Force Nuclear Weapons Center, Sandia National Laboratories, and Boeing to conduct the evaluation. All that planning paid off, with the test being completed ahead of schedule and preliminary data showing no disruption in the missile systems.